What's going on everyone? John here from bootcamp.com and in today's video, we're gonna be answering this question. This question is, what is the function of this muscle right here? So we're actually pointing to a tendon, but this tendon is obviously originating from a muscle. So what is gonna be the function of the muscle which actually controls this tendon? If you're wondering what I'm using, this is a platform called Med School Bootcamp. If you want to check it out, you can click the link in our description and create a free account, get access to all these images to help you for your classes. So starting off first, what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at a pretty mid-level dissection of a hand. You can see we still have our thenar muscles intact right here. It looks like we have a lot of our hypothenar muscles, except we've reflected the uh, flexor digiti minimi right here. And we've cut into our carpal tunnel right here and we've exposed these tendons. So we have all these tendons coming through. And if we follow this tendon up, you're going to see it's going to come up and it's going to split and divide. And then it's going to insert right here onto our middle phalange. Passing through the two uh, splits of this tendon, we're going to have another tendon passing through and inserting onto the distal phalange. So if you recall, which tendon is going to come up and split and insert onto our middle phalange, well, that is going to be the flexor digitorum superficialis. And we have another flexor digitorum, and that's going to be the flexor digitorum profundus. That is going to be this tendon coming through and inserting onto our distal phalanx right here. Now, based on the insertion points, you can kind of get a sense of the type of action that each of these muscles is going to be performing in the joints that they're actually going to be acting on. So let's go through our options and see which question or which answer choice looks the most correct. So flexion of digits two to five at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. So where is the metacarpal phalangeal joint? Well, that is going to be this joint over here between the metacarpals down here in the palm and our proximal phalange, which is gonna be found right here. So this tendon wouldn't necessarily directly act on our metacarpal phalangeal joint. So let's, let's cross that one out for now. So flexion of the digits two to five at the distal interphalangeal joint. So if we break that down, distal interphalangeal joint. So interphalangeal between phalanges and the distal joint. So we have a distal interphalangeal joint right here, and we also have a proximal interphalangeal joint right here. So because the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon is coming up and inserting onto our middle phalanx, this one is most likely going to act on our uh, proximal interphalangeal joint right here. But we have our flexor digitorum profundus tendon coming up inserting onto our distal phalanx. So this one is most likely going to act on our distal interphalangeal joint. And we say two through five because we have uh, this tendon inserting on digits two, three, four, and five. Let's go through the other answer options just to make sure uh, that we're not missing anything. So flexion of the digits two to five in the carpal metacarpal joint. So where would our carpal metacarpal joint? Well, we have our carpal bones down here in the wrist, and we have our metacarpals right here in the palm. So this would be the carpal metacarpal joint right here. So it's the joint between the carpal bones and the metacarpals. So the flexor digitorum profundus tendon wouldn't necessarily act on that. And we have flexion of the digits two through five at the proximal interphalangeal joint. So like we mentioned, the proximal interphalangeal joint is going to be found down here. And the flexor digitorum superficialis is going to be the one uh, directly acting on this joint because it inserts into the middle phalanx. So if you look at my finger right here, this joint right here that I'm trying to bend this would be the proximal interphalangeal joint. And this one up here, this is going to be our distal interphalangeal joint that I'm bending. This one right here, this is going to be our 
uh, metacarpophalangeal, that's like where your knuckles are. And then we would have our carpal, metacarpal, which I'm not gonna try and bend because that would hurt. But so let's lock this answer in and check if that's the correct answer. So flexion of digits two through five at the distal interphalangeal joint, lock it in. And that of course is the correct answer. Now, if you get it wrong, you can watch this tutorial video breaking it down. Uh, we have breakdowns for all of our questions on the site. So again, if you want to check it out, it's called Med School Bootcamp. Got a link in our description. You can create an account for free, get access to all these images. That's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.